Coffee. I'm Appie Slijs and this is PNN. So let's take a little bit of a better look at the life that people are living on this research ship, the Joydes Resolution. This is PNN. So we are standing right now on the drill ship, the Joydus Resolution, uh, which is a unique vessel in the world um, because it's the only ship that uh, can drill in sediments uh, in very deep waters. Uh, we are going to drill in five kilometer uh, water depth uh, and then recover several hundred meters worth of sediment and there's no other vessel in the world that has these abilities. Uh, the Geordie's Resolution uh, is, uh, was built as an as a oil exploration vessel. It's uh, 471 feet long. We now are classed as a research drilling vessel rather than oil. Obviously that has a different sort of a, a job aspect for all of us on board. So one of the aspects of uh, doing research at sea is that it's a really intensive job. Um, scientists work on 12-hour shifts, seven days a week, for two months continuously, and they're working very hard. And uh, so there's only you know, so much time one can spend on a ship before the energy is completely used up. The scientists come out here, uh, some of them have sailed before, a lot of them haven't sailed at all. So the first thing you have to do is, uh, you know, induct them, indoctrinate them a little bit, you know, explain to them that this is a uh, it's more or less a, like a factory. We're a coring factory. And when you go to work in the business industry, you have to watch out for things, you know, safety aspects, what's going on, the ship's movement. Some of the scientists fare better with uh, the sea traveling and some don't fare so well. You know, some need to have the little patches behind their ears to, you know, keep the equilibrium, you know, straightened out and all. And we find them more or less uh, very, you know, good to deal with. They uh, understand, especially the ones that are out here on a regular basis along with us, they, uh, understand the safety aspects as well as uh, trying to achieve the right thing and take care of their people. They get to watch over the flock by night and we watch over the flock as well. If you come on the ship, you go all the way from, in a sense, from the mud, from the measurements you make on the physical sediments, you go all the way to the modeling of these measurements, the broad scientific understanding, to eventually coming up with scientific insight you will have uh, first-hand experience on how those measurements were taken, what they really mean, what their limitations are. You get an appreciation of the value of the data you get that you would never get if you just sat in your chair and received this data, for example, through a computer. So in a way, by coming here, we see the measurements come alive. So generally, these science expeditions are split into uh, expeditions no longer than about two months' time for a number of other reasons as well. There's fuel that needs to be fueled up, food. We ran out of salad, of course, after you know, a few weeks uh, time. So generally these expeditions run in two month long slots, um, but we have much more climate history in 53 million years than we would be able to get in just a, a two month period. Uh, data routine is uh, check on the drilling, make sure it's going well, uh, interface with the mechanics and electricians on board to make sure the drilling equipment's working properly. We do checks to equipment to make sure it's running properly and we also set up a schedule so when the ship's in between sites, when we're transiting, we can uh, schedule larger jobs or more detailed work that we can do that we cannot do while we're actually uh, operating in the uh, pouring business. Up here we have the, the Lucky Bull, it was presented to the ship. It's a symbol of the Chinese New Year and the ship was actually completed in the year of the bull. Well, DP is critical 
to the to the vessel's operation. Obviously, we we're in 4,000 plus meters of water. Um, we cannot, like any normal drilling rig anchor, because you couldn't carry sufficient anchor chain to do that. So we 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 use dynamic positioning. Without dynamic positioning, we can't retrieve core, it's just impossible. And the other beauty of dynamic positioning, as you'll have seen, is that it's very quick to move site. We can move from one area to another and set up and be drilling them within a matter of hours. Uh, my name is Charlie Wynn. I'm second engineer on board the Geordie's Resolution. Uh, my job entails keeping the electrical and engine plant running at all times to produce power for not only for the accommodation, but for the drilling package and propulsion. We have to keep an eye on all the engines, temperatures. We also generate all the water for the ship. The ship uses approximately 40 to 50 ton a day. All the systems uh, are monitored and have alarms on them for pressures and temperatures. So they can't all be controlled from here, but we can find out if there's a problem before it happens so that we can go to the pump and sort, sort it out. While we're cruising, we're burning uh, 38 metric tons a day, which is 12,000 US gallons. We can carry a total of 997,157 ,997 US gallons, which is divided through tanks throughout the ship. I am Alex, I am the CAM boss aboard of the Joint Resolution, born in Portugal, and I've been working on this ship for 13 years. I'm in charge of the food and housekeeping, and I always try to do my best to keep everybody happy. We have uh, uh, many nationalities on board. It was a challenge to compose the menus. Here's uh, is our line, we are now serving the dinner. We have here the, the beef stew, then we have fish fingers, liver and onions, and the crispy bacon. I'm Dr. Jeffrey of the Joydus Resolution, the research vessel. Now, I've been here for 18 years and we have a totally different scenario because we're supposed to be able to handle all cases from simple dental or simple medical emergencies to the far flung like heart attacks, name it. But in this hospital, since we we're like 15 days away, I'm supposed to be able to handle all emergencies until such a time that it becomes very complicated and that's the time we consider medical, uh, medical evacuation. We are currently in our movie theater. On our 12 hour shifts we work, we usually want to do something afterwards. This is why this was built. With me is uh, Happy. We are watching one of the movies from our laser disc collection. Outside in the kitchen, you can also go and have some popcorn, make yourself some popcorn, and you can feel like you're back home, in, except for the girlfriend, of course. Go right on in. <laughs> uh, as a captain on a ship with this many people and this many different disciplines, uh, we travel around the world, there's a lot of responsibility, but all that is made much, uh, much, uh, less complicated by the, uh, the amount of support staff that I have on board. I think we make a difference. I like what I do. I like the people that I interact with. Uh, we have a lot of uh, crew members on board that have been on board their vessel for a long time, so we mesh well together. Uh, we've worked well for a long period of time, and uh, we know each other's personalities and differences. And uh, as our company calls them, it's uh, personality colors, which helps you to interact with someone. And in my case, it's uh, more than just colors, it's uh, knowing. Uh, before I walk out there and talk to someone, I can, uh, I can know the hair standing up on the back of his neck before I get out there. When you know people and you know how they interact with the situation as well as yourself, you can uh, really make a contribution to the situation, I think. No, let's try again, let's try again. I am at the end of my shift, please. No, <laughs> facciamo così, guarda. I want to change my shift. <laughs> no, it's too, it's too dark. This is just like, you see? Basta! Basta! I enjoy the travel. I enjoy seeing the open, bounding sea, if you will. And I enjoy the life at sea because it's uh, a very 
small community and we get to know each other very well and we have a good time. Once you get a taste for it, it's very difficult to give it up. You just want to keep coming back. <laughs>